good morning. All of the personal readings are completed. So now we're going to, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can order one from the description box. Um, and now we're going to go into the daily reading today. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, this is going to be shorter than normal. Not going to do the other stuff. Going to take a break to let the energies kind of, you know, <clears throat> do their thing here. <clears throat> may do this one. And I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do a past life read. I don't know what they, why they want me to do that, but here we are. <laughs> All right. Messages for the divine feminine. Messages for the divine feminine. Whoa. Those are too many. We're not taking those. Only time will tell. <laughs> Okay. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. Divine masculine. divine masculine give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires it is important to right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give it to yourself acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Wow. So, my masculine's obviously over here going through some things. So, okay. Let's take a look at past life for these two, or these however many <laughs> there are. For Divine Feminine and Masculine. <clears throat> past life of the Feminine, Divine Feminine, please, of that we are connecting with. What are the past lives? Okay. Earth sign. So we could be connecting with an Earth sign. They want to tell you. This could be an Earth. Or you have Earth in your chart. You are very intuitive. <clears throat> so someone who's very intuitive. You are a shadow queen. So I could be picking up... There is a Sagittarius I could be picking up, and you are a shadow queen coming in as a shadow queen, okay? This is somebody who, who could be a shadow worker. You do a lot of shadow work, <clears throat> or you could be living from your shadow. <clears throat> wallflower. This person who's an earth sign intuitive is a wallflower here. That means that you are somebody who observes and you do not um, engage. You could be shy, introverted. What about the Shadow Queen Sagittarius? What about this person? This is Crone. So this person has knowledge here. This is a very knowledgeable witch. Okay. Crone. You have high knowledge. Okay. Um, what is the past life of this earth sign here? Past life of this earth sign. Ooh. In a past life, you were very extroverted. <laughs> what else about the past life? You were a lover of who? Who of the of the um, of a wizard? Ooh, okay. Divine masculine. Gemini could have been a Gemini. <clears throat> this person, I feel like, could have two different sides to them, this wizard. So that means that they could be, you know, two different sides, like I said. Wow. 
Mystic, Medusa. This looks like a match to me, an energetic match, right? You're coming in as a mystic. He's a wizard. Medusa. There is, I feel like, why is Medusa here <clears throat> for past life energy? Sage. Oh, so some, so the earth sign could have been a dark, darker spirited person in a past life. And the lover could have been someone who was a lighter, I hate to say dark and light, but um, so Medusa, we all know what Medusa does. <laughs> Let's not play games here. So we all know. So I feel like this earth sign is coming in as a past life as Medusa. Okay. And her um, divine masculine was Sage. Sage is someone who's like a high priest. It's like the crone, but it's a male. Okay. Divine masculine energy. So let's get some more about this Sagittarius here. So what was this person in a past life? The Sagittarius energy. A saboteur. She sabotaged someone. Who? Who did they sabotage? A CEO. So the Sagittarius sabotaged someone who was a CEO in a past life. Why? Why did they sabotage this person? He was a king and he admired someone. So this person was a king in a past life and he was admired. So what I'm, the energy I'm getting is he was admiring someone else, but this shadow queen wanted him. Okay. Is that true? Is that accurate? Yes. He was admiring a high priestess. Wow. So who was this sabot So who was this saboteur, this fire sign in a past life? Why didn't he want her? Why didn't he want her? She was an artist. She was an artist in a past life. A detective. She could have been a detective in a past life as well as an artist. So why did he want the high priestess instead of her? Because the high priestess was a queen. <sighs> wow. Oh. So what with the earth sign, what was the, what was the outcome of this situation? What was the outcome? Someone was a stalking the earth sign. It was a secret love that was stalking her. Okay. This is past life now. Uh, Sagittarius, what was the outcome of this? Cancer energy. Okay. What about this cancer? He was introverted and he was wanted dead or alive. He was a loner. He was left alone. But someone could have been after him. They wanted him dead or alive. Why? This is very strange. This card wanted to come out because of a single woman maiden because of a woman. So why did this stalker want the secret love stalker? What did they want from this earth sign in a past life? This person was a trickster. What, what, okay. So what did they want? What did this trickster want to communicate with the water sign? Cancer energy. Or this could be a water sign that is a trickster. Why is water here? Communication. Why is water here? Vampire. 
This person is vampiric. So they're a vampire energy. So they're narcissistic. So they wanted the earth sign Capricorn devil energy. This person's performing what? Aquarius. Chemistry. Yeah, they wanted a reunion. They had a vision that they wanted to create with this earth sign. What did they want to create? There was something they wanted to create. Haughty. Air. <clears throat> they wanted to be wanted. It's an air sign that could be could have wanted to be wanted. They want this person to want them. Mm -hmm. But they're stubborn. Okay. <sighs> Whoa. That's a heck of a lot of uh, past life stuff going on here. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to ask is how does that play into this life? So for Divine Feminine, what is the... What is the, what should Divine Feminine energy be doing in this lifetime? What should the Divine Feminine be doing in this lifetime here? In this life? Medusa Magician. Why is Medusa here? Vampire. What I get from this is... Yeah, see, the vampire is clinging to you. You have to embrace that Medusa energy that is still in your energy, this Medusa. This, So you're, remember we talk about shadow and light. I feel like your shadow side comes out as Medusa. Okay. <laughs> because that's who you, that is who you were in a past life. So this is your masculine energy right medusa is the energy you embrace when you need protection against this vampire who's clinging to you we all know what an energy vampire is this is a narcissistic person okay magician so what are you supposed to be creating magician in this lifetime now why is magician here beauty what about it? What about it? King. You're supposed to be create something with a king. What are they supposed to create? Water energy Pisces. Could be a child for some. Could be children. Scorpio. That's sex. rebel so <clears throat> rebel against the shadow queen the mother so <clears throat> there could be someone here in this lifetime whose mother doesn't approve or someone who is a mother figure who does not approve of this connection you're supposed to rebel against this okay rebel against this extrovert yep i don't care I don't care. I'm going to do this relationship anyways. Wow. <laughs> you see how that popped out. Why is air here? Why is air here? Why is hot nerd here? <sighs> there is a air sign here who is a hot nerd who's watching why is victim here I feel like this person wants you as a victim yeah or they feel a victim of you why is femme fatale here
they feel like you yeah yep they feel this person is an admirer ceo could be an artist this person feels like you scorned them yep you're a virgo they could be traveling to see you they view you as a goddess and a mystic they have romantic feelings about you yep there we go so what do they want what do they want they have a crush they're clinging to you here they want to higher self chemistry why is higher self here Libra water why is Libra and water here and Leo I knew it they're trying to trick you into thinking that you want them they want a secret love with you that's what their vision is in this lifetime but you're not supposed to go with the trickster you're supposed to go with the king wow okay so now we're going to do divine masculine lord have mercy what in the world so now divine masculine what is what should you be doing in this lifetime what should you be doing in this lifetime i'll see how i shuffle these cards <laughs> this is pretty crazy <clears throat> wounded trickster wow shadow king stalker holy shit king clinger so <clears throat> definitely feel there's a trickster who's coming in as a shadow king and a stalker who is wanting to wound you here this person is clinging i feel like to someone here who is a king you're a true king they're coming in as a shadow king um they're clinging to you why you could have a stalker who's a female as well this is because of your past life what about the past life jeez has to do with your mother don juan and someone maybe that your mother was with in a past life Why is the why is the trickster wanting to wound this king here? Because he's a player. Ooh. He's playing a game, possibly. Yeah, he wants this person that you're with. He views her as Lilith. So I feel like L we all know who Lilith was. Lilith was. Um, the first wife of Adam okay a lot of stories pass her off as a demon and they casted her out but <clears throat> I don't think so I think um, she was just rebellious and she didn't want to submit to Adam anyways this person that this king is with I feel like this trickster views her as his right and that's why he wants to wound him and they're star-crossed lovers. I don't think they're ever going to be together. So what should this king do in this life to reconcile this? Queen. <laughs> Queen and king. Yeah. This is protect her. Mm. Sexual energy here. 
lover. Yep. Victim. Loner. So what I'm getting is not be a victim. <laughs> okay. Secret love. Perhaps not let her be alone. Yeah. Communicate. Possibly had to communicate with this person. Say, I know who you are. I know you're a vampire. You know, in those so many words. Yeah, have a talk. Wow, this is very crazy. <laughs> very wild. Okay, so what part of the story is everybody in right now? <laughs> what part of the story is everybody in right now? For both energies, divine feminine and masculine energy. Where is everybody at right now? Both energies. Okay, we got Sagittarius back. It's trickster. Here we go. Trickster could be coming in as a set as a fire sign as well. So the trickster is trying to create something, taking action to create something using knowledge. Could be using a crone, or this person could have higher knowledge as well, using magic, playing games. Okay, what else? The other people. Somebody he could be communicating with a wizard, like I said. Higher self. Someone here else here is coming in, listening to their higher self. Libra and Scorpio could be key players here, along with the Sagittarius, is a clinger. Libra, Scorpio energy is clingers here. They're stalking, watching. Yep, mother energy. Extroverted, victim. Reunion, Gypsy. We also have a Cancer here as a High Priestess. That's what's going on right now. All right. Whoa. That took a long time. I wasn't expecting that to do that, but that was kind of an interesting story here. Okay, so... What we're going to do now is current energy and future energy. Current energy and future energy. I don't think we need to do past energy. I've been doing that for the past few days. So what is the um, current energy of divine feminine? It is divine masculine. Divine feminine could be in her over masculinity right now. Future energy of divine feminine. Future energy of divine feminine. Holding on devil, ace of cups, ace of wands. Why is the devil here for divine feminine's future energy? Wow. Working on moving past a third party, moving forward with a cancer, chariot energy. That's future energy. Why is divine uh, masculine here? Why is emperor here for current energy? Queen of Cups. This is water energy. This is connecting with, you know, your emotions. So you are now connecting with your emotions, opening up your heart chakra. And I think this is good. Very good energy. Okay. Very good energy. You're opened. You could be open to your divine masculine in an emotional way. So what is Divine Masculine's current energy at this time? Divine Masculine's current energy at this time. Divine Masculine, <clears throat> excuse me, current energy. Divine Masculine's current energy at this time. And Divine Masculine's future energy. So Divine Masculine is planning on the future. What is the future energy of the Divine Masculine? Juggling two and walking away from one. So what is Divine Masculine planning on right now? 
Two of Wands. What is he planning? Sadness. Stuck. How to work on this. How to get out of this sadness and stuck energy. How to become more balanced and taking action to stability. Okay. Could also be focusing a lot on work. But yes, taking passionate action towards towards what? Why is Ace of Wands here? Having victory over something. Obviously, that's Divine Feminine. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. What is Divine Masculine walking away from in the future? Making a choice, yes. Who is Divine Masculine walking away from? This is future energy, so this card wanted to come out. Walking away from being single. Awakening to something, or it could be walking away from his awakening. So who is he walking away from? Oof. Okay, who is he going towards? Who is Divine Masculine going towards? This is going towards a divorce. Standing his ground could be going towards a Libra also. Going towards four of wands could be a water energy here. Healthy relationship. Walking away from third party energy. Walking away from why is three of cups here? Walking away from resisting. Okay. He's not going to be resisting anymore. He's walking away from confusion, done resisting. Okay. All right. So what does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? What does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? King of Pentacles. Focus on your work, focus on money, focus on grounding yourself. Could be needing to focus on an earth sign. Could be needing to make a choice. You need to focus on who is your wish fulfillment. Divine masculine, what does divine masculine need to focus on? What does divine masculine need to focus on? Walking away and making an offer or making, um, apologizing. Walking away from what? <clears throat> walking away from a marriage. This is a marriage. Fine masculine needs to walk away from a marriage. <clears throat> Why is Page of Pentacles here making an offer? To the soulmate. So it's basically the same energy. You guys basically need to do the same thing. Okay. A roundabout way, but same thing. So what does what do these people's ancestors and guides want to say? What does the universe ancestors guides want to say to everybody watching or that will watch? No matter when, these are timeless. You need to work on forming a solid foundation and a structure. Pay attention to your energy levels. Take care of yourself. Um, if this means going into a separation and being by yourself, then be it. So be it. Okay. Allow for karma to come in and balance things. Okay. I think you have a regret or you're repressing possibly a, a divorce or something that you didn't do. You're getting messages in your dreams from your ancestors about this. They're trying to plant something new for you. This is a new contract. My contract career commitment here. This is something new that they're trying to create. Get out of your ego and trust the, the universe.
this is a storm. I feel like this was faded. This is a storm that was faded for sure. Your ancestors came out again. This was for your own good. You kept thinking about the past and suffering from it. Whatever this tower is, is for your own good. You could have been trying to control a situation. Oh, a lot of doubt and lack. You needed to focus on your healing instead of someone else. This is to get you to focus back on yourself and not this other person. You keep doing that and it's causing conflict and putting you at a dis, uh, crossroads here. Be open to receiving fate. I told you, fate. You need to be open to receiving something that is coming in that's faded, that's going to create stability and take off the false mask. They're talking to you, masculine. You're guarded and resisting this that's coming in. You've already dreamed about what this is. You know what this is, but you're resisting it. Why? Why? Because you don't want to reject someone. This is your wish fulfillment, but you don't want to reject someone. Your wish fulfillment is union, but you don't want to have to reject someone or release someone. We all know what happens when you resist the universe. What happens when you res when this masculine resists doing what he's su they're supposed to do? What's going to happen? What's going to happen when they resist doing what they're supposed to do? What's going to happen? Clarity. Oh, when they resist. Whoa. You could go towards someone that you're attracted to. Um, you could want a reunion with this person. Could be an earth sign here that you're avoiding. So what's going to happen? Feminine energy. The feminine is open to receiving at this time. Is going to have an epiphany as to what? To trust the divine. And that I feel like that you, yes, exactly, that you are in your shadow and they are listening to their higher self. And that you have renewed some type of commitment here. What will the feminine do? Choose someone else and reject you because of their self-worth. I knew that was going to, I knew that's what they were going to say. She's going to reject you and choose someone else for, because of her self-worth and expectations. Yep. She's going to view you as being deceptive because of that. She's going to know that you were operating from uh, that devil energy. And she's going to be reminded that you're staying in a place of doubt and lack. She wants you to listen to your higher self, but you're not. You're staying in a place of guilt and cold and detached energy. All right, so that's what we have. Possibly is why this person's coming in as a trickster. This is for some, not all. Okay. Why is this person coming in as a trickster? Why is this person coming in as a trickster?
you could be getting messages in your dreams about this person, about why they're coming in as a trickster. Why is forming a solid foundation here? Yeah, I knew it. If this person is telling you that they've made a change or is going to change or has done healing, they're lying. And you know it because you have been getting messages. So they're deceitful. Why are they not healing and in this deceitful energy? I feel like they're allowing their fears to limit them. A fire sign in their energy too could be very negative. Who is this fire sign? What is this fire sign doing? This fire sign could be limiting them. This fire sign is, is coming in between this reunion. There is a fire sign that is causing a blockage. It's a third party. It's an actual person. It's not action. Yep, clarity, see? This person is attached to the feminine. This person feels like they're protecting the feminine. They are also a twin. They're very egotistical though. They are at a distance from this feminine. They were triggered by this person. Yeah, toxic. They're stuck in toxic patterns here. They're trying to control their purpose. But I feel like they're completing cycles. They're completing cycles here. They could have been trying to uh, control their purpose at one point, very controlling energy, but they are actually healing and doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, completing contracts, working on themselves, working on self-love. That's good energy, but... Mm. Wow. A lot of interference. Not so good energy from whoever this was. I feel like this was somebody different or this person has just completely revolted, um, went rogue against the uh, this connection. And that's why they're showing up as this. 